What's going on everybody, Sharpie360 here, and welcome to my new build in Sons of the Forest. This is a Hogwarts inspired island fortress type castle build that I've been working on for the last few days. And for this build I wanted to find a different unique spot that I haven't really seen too many builds at and I wanted to try and keep it all tied onto the same grid, all on the same building grid. So this whole entire structure that you're seeing is all technically connected which is pretty cool i don't know i thought it was pretty cool to try and do that but then so so being that it's been connected elevation has been the biggest challenge that i've had to work and overcome being that when you are working with elevation and stuff it doesn't always work out flush to the ground so it, the biggest challenge was trying to get foundations built up so i built it on this kind of island in the middle of this lake area kind of by the golden armor cave the golden armor cave is right over there behind those pine trees they're blocking it but if we take a look at the gps we can see kind of where it is in relation to the rest of the map so just on to the on the west side of the mountain where this double lake is and it has the big waterfall over there and another big waterfall over here so kind of a big prominent map separation area so this section of land isn't really an island it's more just like a, a point or whatever but it has this cool rock cropping that i wanted to utilize when i was flying around the map looking for different build areas uh scouting for new locations to build I had seen this stand out and I thought it would be really cool looking to, or really cool to try and build something up there. This build has a lot of Hogwarts inspiration behind it. Nothing really other than just the fact that the kind of the wizard castle on a rock cliff facing thing is really the main driver behind it. Nothing more inspirational <laughs> with Hogwarts other than that, but so Hogwarts will be the, the key word for the views, I guess, but whatever. So that's my Hogwarts inspired island castle. And that's what we got so far. So far, it's pretty much complete at this point. All right, let's jump back in. So we'll start. So we have this down here. Mr. Mr. Man is down there. We got the double tower. And then Kelvin's hanging out back there. We got kind of a main keep right here. These three main buildings. And then it also swoops up to a big great hall at the moment right here. And then we have kind of a giant wizard tower thing lookout deal right here. So we'll start from the bottom down there and we're gonna go and take a look all the way through it and get end up at this pinnacle point right here. So let's jump down there and see what's going on. All right, starting off at the very base and we'll work our way to the top of the whole fortress. So to start with, we got these two towers on the side We'll call them the, the dormitories, I don't know. <laughs> they got the two towers on each side. They are symmetrically merely built, so one side and the other. And then uh, they're kind of offsetting the grid a little bit. So like I said, this whole structure is one grid. All right, so let's head up here, get this rope. I'll just give you the full tour. Stairs are a little bit easier to work with with the new update, but they're still kind of a pain in the butt to actually get manipulate into ways that they're not supposed to typically work, like the stairs in the wall right there. So it's been kind of a hit and miss thing for that. And then we got this log bridge right here. And then it pops out to this side. And it's basically the same thing working down. And then in order to fix the grid, uh, or in order to align the grid, this one is sitting actually one ha quarter length up higher than what the standard grid, or what it is on the ground to kind of li line out, to kind of line up properly. And another wood bridge. And if we climb up this main one, it'll bring us all the way to the top. So more of just like a an access point than really much to do up here other than that and then the other side has the same thing with the cool little point pointed roof tower thing so pretty neat drop down here okay 
And then we got some stone wall stuff going on as well here. I have this little balcony that I built with the new update. Patch 6 has stone that we can work with as building material. But at this point, I tried to add in a lot of different uses with the stone on this build, but a lot of the foundational stuff and the structural stuff had already really been in place to the point where switching it out was going to be too much of a, a laborious task to do and could have just potentially ruined the build altogether. So I really just used it minimally and it wasn't in the places that kind of made sense. The big thing with the stone that I'd like to see is being able to like to fill in these these spots on the bottom sides of the foundation because this is as low as I could get the foundation since I didn't start it on the ground. It is a quarter log up, but I can't place at least right now we can't place stones underneath there to kind of fill in the gap in between the ground because there's no log underneath it the base layer is this first log right here so that's kind of annoying it would be nice to be able to fill it in the rocks to give it a complete like walled look but hopefully that'll change but this isn't a patch video so that's just my two cents on that all right let's move to the next section okay so you come in here to this little transfer way double decker transfer way with the three quarter length height there to match the grid and all that good stuff and we'll talk about that a little more in depth later on a little spare room here just nothing really crazy all right moving up to the next section we got this main this the lower part of the one of the main keeps one of the main buildings a lot of different architectural stuff going on here so we'll just start and kind of work our way up we got two different ways of going on here. We got some rope bridges that I used to kind of get over to this section. More of a service area than anything else. Oop, don't want to go off there. The door opens still. And kind of just, yeah, service doors. But I like the layering of the wood bridges. That looks nice. And we can head up to the next floor. And this is going to be our first balcony kind of area. With the nice view triple triple panel view and then this little room right here oh it drops down and then we can actually get to the roof right here for access so a little access points and stuff instead of trying to get up there again after the fact it's kind of a pain in the butt so I decided to just kind of incorporate a little bit of that after I had the initial structures built this one actually goes to the top so that works we can do that or the the second balcony so this is the Selkin balcony. I got a little bit more design going on up here with the railing, the wood spike columns and whatnot. And this one's open, kind of has an overhang awning. Looks a little bit nicer. Okay, and then we can move up to the next section. Just kind of a decorative choice up here. Nothing really useful about that, but hey, all of it looks cool. And then up here we got the same thing a little bit, but uh, this one is actually not raised up. The other one, the one below it, you can see it's kind of raised up a quarter log and then built, whereas this railing is just straight on the ground like that. So it's kind of cool. A nice view. This is kind of the main theme that I'm going with as far as railings and stuff. It's gonna be these like roofing apexes and then uh, spiked wooden logs and you see the tree is nice and growing through our log wall it's pretty cool like it <laughs> and then when we get to the top the atrium area i don't know kind of cool log design thing at the wall the overseer the observation area So pretty cool design there. Nothing too fancy dancy, just really kind of just making it look cool. And for this one, I'm not really going to be filling anything in as far as interior decorations, tables, anything like that. Like I had done with the sharpen scale build. I think that contributed to the pixelation problems I was experiencing. I haven't had anything like that happen with this build so far, so it's, I'd like to keep it that way. I'm trying to really go minimal on the torches as well because who knows i think that had something to do with it as well and then these little doors just come out the back right now 
Cool. So that is that main hall, main big tower area, if you will. And we can continue onwards to the next section. Get this walkway. Nice little walkway that goes down the, the cliffside. Mountain in the background. And then a walkway to access this side as well. Coming in through the door, we got this room. Kind of a double-decker with a half loft up there. Pretty neat. You can. Uh, uh, this room also has a rope you can get up here. To this loft area. And then there's the rope that goes up to the tower. So this one was kind of wonky because of the way that the rope mechanic works. So when you do climb up it, you gotta hold back so you don't fall through the front. Like that. So, and you get up here, and you got this little lookout tower. You can climb up this rope. Again, hold the back so you don't fall off the edge. And we're up. One hell of a view. It's pretty dope. I love it. This is probably my favorite spot I've found yet to build. Sweet. Alright. Whee! Okay, so up on the roof of that double story loft room, we just got these little neat little roof accessories extension dealy bobs i don't know just trying to play around with different roofing combinations to see what i can find let me know what roof is your favorite in the comments below all right let's move on to the next building so coming out of here we can go either the second story or the first story through here bada boom into this room we got a nice lake observation area kind of cool Utilizing the rope bridges again, which is kind of nice for like walkways with you don't have to have Beams and whatnot to place the planks on. I think it looks a lot more a lot cleaner and a lot more minimalist Less cluttered Pretty cool Pop outside here for a back door got one over there to that building cool And then this just brings us to the roof of this one well the this is the battle area. The observation platform. We can shoot planes out of the sky from here. And shoot the navy vessels as they're coming towards our, our base. We can defend from all areas. Going with that running theme of the uh, apex spike railings. So that's that. Alright, we can jump down. We can move to the next room. Coming through this door, we go up the stairs. And we get to this main communal area, I guess, would be the appropriate area name for it, I guess. I don't know. It's just like kind of the bigger open community gathering hall. Uh, porch right there. And this is where the band performs. Is that? We'll have sell tickets and have live music and whatnot. So this is the this is the stage. <laughs> we got that, and then got some interesting stuff over here. A lot of work with like the half half level platforms in this room. It's right there for one, and then this the stairwell, and then more uh, rope bridges to kind of like I said, they're easier to work with. <laughs> for stuff like that and then this pops out to a little observation deck area nice little corner thing here and then we also have a door on this side for accessing the roof as well so if we go up over here we got all this cool stuff and there's the main the great hall the Viking Great Hall. <laughs> and this one has a, uh, a watchtower on it as well, so you can go check that out. We'll come up here into this nice little empty area. This one goes down to the main floor, that half section staring stairwell. 
and climb up the rope ladder. Boom. And then we are at this watchtower. Cool. A little bit higher than that one, but basically the same idea. I put uh, this crossbeam on this one this time just to make it easier to get up. So I was getting issues with it before. And down. Boom. All right, now we are back where we started in this room. Ooh, outside. I haven't built an actual like little platform off there yet, but we'll see. Okay, let's move on to the next area. Move on to the Great Hall. Boom. Okay, cool. So just a big old empty room right now. Like I said, I'm not filling any decorations in, but this is just kind of what this ended up being is going to be a big old Viking loft, Viking hut pyramid shaped triangle thing. Cool. <laughs> and then we got the double decker stairs or double sided stairs coming up to the trampoline area. So usually this works. I found that this thing is really buggy like this. And then it just like glitches out. Until I get up again. So I'm going to probably switch those out because that's annoying. But it was kind of fun to screw around with. Coming up here we get roof access. And we got the wild roofs that I made. So we can take a closer look at this really quick. So basically what's going on here is it's the same roof pattern. But... This section, the middle section, and the far left section are raised by a half log each. And then instead of having even height apexes, the one on the left is lower, one log lower than the one on the right, and it gives it that slant. And then same thing with down here, the one on the right is lower, one lower than this one. This centerpiece is the same height so it gives it that uh, gives it the level look kind of a swoop up across and then down and then just the opposite on this side with the apex hiding so it kind of gave it a cool effect and then we also have the same thing up on this roof as well Same kind of concept, just a little bit different execution because that's a little bit different of a roof design. But I think it turned out pretty cool. I like it. it looks kind of cool. Unique, definitely unique, if anything. So that's that. Let's jump back down. We can head back inside. Maybe, if it can let me in there. Okay, cool. Here's the tramp room. That's that. Again, more utilization with the rope bridges and stuff instead of actual, like, plank catwalks. Looks a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. And then back on the main floor, nothing too crazy. I don't like that snow pop in and all. That's really annoying. And then we can move to the final building. We'll do our giant wizard tower ritual tower sacrifice demons thing. Yeah. Okay. Cool, so I made this giant observation tower back here as well. Figured it was just fitting based on the location and having this uh, this hill point right here to, to kind of to peek off of it worked really well. So I went for a giant building, as you do in situations like that. Cool, nothing too crazy on this one, just really trying to get up and get the elevation built, so... As far as intricacies, nothing nothing insane, but still kind of fun. Got this little hiding room. You know I like to hide my little rooms and stuff like that. Little secret walkways. If you can access it and it's hidden and stuff, it's even better. So that's kind of cool. But not really focused on building a whole lot of that in, in this build. So there's not too much to show for those. Let's get this little thing for roof access. Come back out here. Nothing crazy. Kind of adds to it so it's not just a big old 
sloping plank too. Okay, and then we can head to the top of this tower. Oop, oh, I'm on the wrong side. I need to face this way. There we go. All right. And we got the observation lookout. You can oversee our whole whole compound kind of. And then if we take this final rope bridge, rope bridge, uh, rope ladder up, we can get to the top of this watchtower. Woo! And there it is in all of its glory. Pretty cool. I dig it. You can't see too much because of the trees, but I did like keeping the trees in there. Woo! Alright, let's jump. I did go through and build a wall around this whole thing. There's no enemies in this map, it's just on a peaceful mode, so it's not really of use or anything like that. It's just kind of more of a... It completes the look, alright? This one looks a lot neater. There's a wooden fence that goes around the whole thing. Double fence. So yeah, like I said, the biggest challenge for this build has been the elevation. I believe I started... Okay, so basically, this was kind of the origin spot for the build. I believe the first logs placed down were just past these couple of planks over here on the ground up there. And then worked our way down here, or it could have been these two right here. I can't remember exactly which ones were placed first, but basically this is where everything kind of branched out from. So getting it all on the same grid and working it down was just kind of a pain in the ass, but it ended up working pretty well once I kind of figured out the ins and outs of it. So nothing too crazy. But I would definitely like to see these to be able to, like, be placed as a ground log, not on a platform or raised or something like that. But, so we'll see. And you can kind of see where a lot of the grid manipulation to kind of get things to line up to stay proper and get level uh, foundation starts to take place. You may have noticed right on this section there is that one quarter log section that's a gap or a spacer, so to speak. And then in here, you can kind of see that there's these three quarter log sections that bring up the, to work with this main, this main grid or one floor section up here. <laughs> so it's just a lot of manipulation to kind of keep everything lined up properly to keep the grid stable or stable is not the right, to keep the grid more flowing properly so I can have the room or flooring line up where it should so you can see the three the planks up here will line up with the floor the bottom of the floor on the first level of these towers so just stuff like that the thing with working down or building like this is that it was like a challenge you have to build it down and create a platform to like a base layer foundation and all that stuff and to keep going down and stuff you can't just build down so for instance like right here you can't just build down and then place a log onto the ground once you start building or moving off of the ground placement of the logs you can't just you just can't place them back again it's always going to be on some sort of like raised grid even though it doesn't look like it so that's been kind of a pain in the butt and it just kind of adds for some it'd be nice to be able to put the logs down So overall, I think this build has gone pretty well. I do have lighting and all that stuff placed throughout all the buildings, so I'll switch it over to nighttime really quick and see what that looks like as well. And Kelvin's still there. Cool, starting back where we started during the day, we can see these are the two towers right here. Glowing, all orange and yellowy, beautiful like. We got the transfer walkway coming up here
didn't use any light bulbs on this or solar panels on this because I do not like the way that they look in comparison to the warm light that the torches and the skull candles give off. So if you're wondering about why I haven't used any of those, that would be the reason. Pretty lights. Neat. This is supposed to work a lot better, but he always still gets hung up right there. That's okay. Got lights underneath the stairs as well, giving it a nice little ambiance. Into the double story loft. All right, cool. Fancy dancy. Next room. Pretty cool. Observe all the nothingness, the darkness out there. Okay, let's move to the next one. We can go up the stairs. These ones have lights above them, not underneath them. Ooh, super spooky. And then this is kind of, this whole area was kind of intended to be a big observation thing of the lake. So it looks really pretty. You get a lot of good view, obviously, right? Not right now. You saw during the day, uh, the, the view. So hence the big open area on that wall. But with the lighting in here, it looks really cool. Definitely is tying things. Could use a couple more, but like I said, I don't want to overdo the lighting because I believe that contributed to the issues I was having on the pixelation with sharpened scale. Cool, there's that. All right, let's move over to the bounce house. Big old, big old room. Tart materials do look really good in the lighting though. I will say that. And then outside on top of the roof. Wow, look at all pretty. Look at all the lighting. Alright. And finally, let's go check out the wizard watchtower. Trees are growing through this one as well. Uh oh. I just saw a lightning flash. And the storm's rolling in. You can't storm them in the winter up here. It snows. And finishing off where we ended up last time, we have arrived at the end, the watchtower. Cool. The lighting looks really cool. It really adds a lot of hominess to it when it's nighttime. 
definitely definitely really liking the vibe that it's given off for sure so I'm a fan for sure all the way down Kelvin what are you doing down there he's just sitting in this one area kind of nice though because he's not like he doesn't bother me he doesn't get in the way to a better spot and we can wrap this video up. Alright, so that is it. That is my new Hogwarts inspired island fortress, Fort Sharpness if you will. And let me know what you think about this build. I thought it went really well. Talked about some of the biggest challenges, but overall it looks really cool. I kind of wish I could get some of the snow off to see what it looks like without that biome change halfway up it but what are you gonna do so that's where I'm gonna leave it with this one what do you think about how this build went do you like the location of it have you built anything on this location have you tried anything as far as like the verticality of things trying to branch off and keep everything on the same grid it's been pretty challenging but but for the most part pretty workable so I'd say overall it was a success I'll probably keep building depending on how this video goes I'll I might keep working on this and extending it out towards the golden armor cave just over that way or I might find a completely new location and start building somewhere else but definitely let me know what you would like to see in the comments below and that'll kind of give me an idea of a direction going forward whether to stay here or to find a new location because there's a lot more that we could do with this area but there's also a whole lot more locations that have a ton of potential to build especially with all the lakes and ponds updates that have been added in the last couple updates definitely hit me up in the comments let me know what you want to see on that one for the next sons of the forest build video well, i might have the game file available for download if you want to link up on steam or if you want to hit me up on twitter i can send over this the save file if you want to go check it out that would be that would be totally fine just i'm not going to post it online publicly but just hit me up on twitter if you want to see the actual game file you can go in there and explore and wreak havoc for yourself all right cool if you like this build make sure to like comment and subscribe i know i'd really appreciate it the algorithm really appreciates it even more because it's the only way i can probably get any of my content out in front of people right now with the whole saturation of all the gaming and sons of the forest stuff but yeah so any engagement helps all right kelvin you gonna say bye to the people you're going you're going okay well, that's going to do it for this build video, and until next time, sharp out.